Right, this is the fourth church. Burrington Church and Village. Um, Holy Trinity Church, Burrington, this is. I've taken lots of photos outside. I managed to charge my phone up a little bit at um, Buckham. I mean, it won't cost them much. I mean, I did put some money in the box, you know. But this is really good to be able to just... This will be the fourth church I've done today as well. They've got the Last Supper behind there, nicely carved. Look, I've got a little booklet, which this will explain everything. Someone's done a big flower arrangement. I mean, look how massive that is. It's bigger than me. There's a fly buzzing around. There's an old carved mural of some in the wall there, look. Pretty tiled marble um, floor leading up to the altar there. Wooden pews. And then there's like, this room looks a bit redundant at the moment, like more like storage. And it's got some beautiful stained glass windows in there though. Richard Mills Esquire died 15th July 1874 and Eugene Emma, his wife, mother of the aforesaid Richard Bridgman. She died in 1882. And we've got Richard Bridgman. We've got Bridgman in our family, but that's up in um, Cambridgeshire. And there's another look through there, because it's very bright, the sun. And the organ's got, like, two, two sides. It's a sort of, like... Um, a creamy coloured pipework there and then more more um, elaborate pipework the other side and there's a rood screen there as well and then the ceiling the ceilings in here are decorated with some beautiful like ornate shields and fi figures and faces and that and a nice solid wooden ceiling as well Some very old flags up there. And I noticed on the tower there was, the weather vane was a huge golden stag. I've taken some photos and I hope it comes out. I've never seen that before. It's a bit dark in here. Lieutenant Colonel Sir Howell Llewellyn D.S.O. Born 24th of November 1871. Third son of Colonel Evan Llewellyn of Langford Court. Died the second of April, nineteen forty-five, and of his Mary what? And of his, of Mary, his wife, who died nineteen sixty-seven. Once again, in the ceiling, we've got these lovely decorations. That that, that looks like a lamb carrying something on its back. That's a shield. No, that's a meter thing that goes on the bishop's head. There, I mean, you're not a lamb. Um, that's a lamb, yeah. That looks like some sort of bird. That's a shield. And we've got some plaques up there. Somebody, Wally. John Withers Sherwood and another Withers Sherwood. And I've, I think I've taken a picture of the um, Vicars of Bur Barrington. And there's a little book in that a roll of service in there that needs a dust, isn't it? And of course the font. And because um, I went in here as well, this is um, Captain Henry Inman, Royal Navy, 1762 to 1809, son of Reverend George Inman. Vicar, he served the most gallantly in the Mediterranean, West Indies, the Channel and the Baltic, under Vice Counts Hood and Nelson. He died whilst, sir, whilst, he died whilst Naval Commissioner at Madras. And you've got the history of the colours there, which I can't read, but that 
refers to those very, very faint flags up there, look. Sort of Union Jack with some other stuff on it, and then there's some, some more British Legion flags over there. And then in here you've got like the vestry and there's some, another nice stained glass window and a rather nice little stone sculpture thing of Mary Anne's, the beloved wife of Lieutenant Colonel William Fawcett, who died at Mendip Lodge, March, and then it's all in um, Latin, so I don't know what that means. Then you've got the Right Honourable John Hen Hiley Addington of Langford Court in this parish. Died in 1818, age 59, and other Addingtons. Of course, it's so bright, you can't really see the colour in the stained glass windows when the sun's on them, but in some of these you can. Really pretty. And then there's the organ that more colourful pipes this side. And that looks to be in there like some sort of people that died, Joan's family mainly. That leads up to the tower. Towers will be a separate um, Towers will be a separate thing. Somebody's gone off with the pen, so I can't leave a, a thing there. Right, so I'm just going outside now. It's ro it is very remarkable, this church, though, isn't it? Solid doors. I can't find the lights. And... I expect to see more people visiting, you know. I'm just going to go round the churchyard quickly. This is to the Jones family, these big plaques on the walls here. It must have been something of importance. There's the Ten Commandments up on the wall there to remind people. I was not, not steal or commit adultery. There's a big old tree. I don't know if that's a yew. Symbol of something, and they always find them in graveyards. And um, I've taken pictures of graves. I haven't come across anything outstanding. I haven't found any hells or or anything or heels um, or vowels or den meads. But there could be there could be some people here that are linked to those people. I feel like I've got sunstroke actually, because I've been out since half past nine in the blazing sun and I forgot to put a paracetamol in the bag and my forehead is scorched. Oh yes, I'm sorry, there is some, there are a couple of greys. Albert Wookie, who died May the 29th, 1913, aged 73, and Louisa died 26th of January, 1898, aged 57. Also Mary Ann Wookie who died in 1930, age 64. But somewhere over at Rowbarrow and Ship, Shippen, Barbara has got Wookie in the family. And there's another one here. Charles Wookie died October the 11th, 1885, age 80. And Maria, his wife, died March the 22nd, 1803, age 80. No, it can't be 1803, it could be 93. But it is a lovely solid church, isn't it? It's, it looks quite broad. The tower looks quite broad. And of course, over the back here by these, I mean, I'm miles from home, you know. I've got to start making my way back in a minute. I've done four churches. There's all these, these valleys. I've got to go, I've got to go right over there. Yeah. And it's very hot, very hot. Like I said, I feel hot. If I get sunstroke later, I won't, you know, 
It's my own fault, really. I should have had that on. And it's still very hot. It's a very thick looking tree, isn't it? Looks like it's got a face. A little shed there. I'm just doing full circle of the church. That doesn't mean they'll probably have a service. And up there, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but on top of the tower, there's a stag as a wind vane or weather vane. It's quite big. A golden stag. And here's a great big tomb here. Who's this to? I think it's of Benjamin, could be Summers, Esquire, MD. And there's a Thomas Summers, Esquire, only child as well. Yes, a Summers family. This is a, a big vault under here. Yeah, I didn't see any mention of them inside the church, but there probably was. You can't fit it all in in one visit, you know impossible but I am trying to be very thorough and I managed to I can't get over that weather vane and I managed to um, charge up my bag, my mobile that was really good now that could be an old school that's turned into either, either a rectory or the village hall something like that I've got to go back on quite a dangerous road in a minute, by the way, until I find my way to Churchill. Well, I don't really want to come down the A38, really. I don't know if it's the A38. No, it won't be the A38. Look at that stag, everyone, on top of there. I can't get over that stag. And he is moving. With the wind, he is moving. Me, I've got the wind against me when I'm going home. There's an old Norman cross. Or it could be Celt, could be Saxon even. Yeah, it's a lovely little um it's like a little square there, a little village square outside there, where they probably used to hold the fates and that. Hello, Smokey. Hello. Yeah. Oh, you said hello back. It's nice of you. I've met two today. I met a ginger one earlier. I'm so pleased I managed to do four churches. It was worth a whole day, I'll tell you, because the weather's going to change. See, the drain pipes even got name, um, dates on them. 1884. Then you've got all those gurgoyles or gogoyles, whatever they're called, ugly looking things, aren't they? That they used to have, some of them used to have water coming out of them. I'm making the most of this video. Look at that tree. It really is amazing, that tree, that yew tree. And the church. An amazing setting. I've now got to go, I don't know how many miles, um, I don't know. I'll be home as long as I'm home by 10, because I want to watch Beyonce on at Glastonbury. Let me just see if I can get that stag again from this angle. Yeah, he's moved round again. Wait a minute. Look. He's moved round. That's amazing, isn't it? Right then everyone, I'm going to see if I can get a picture of that stag now. Over and out.